What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're going to learn how to use our Retrolog VST as an effect on loops and other VST instruments. Retrolog is a very powerful and capable VST, but today we're going to route some other tracks to it so we can apply some of Retrolog's effects such as Arpeggio, Phaser, and Resonator. So let's get started. To get started, we have this piano loop on track number one and an instance of Retrolog on track number two. Let's listen to this piano loop first. Once we have our Retrolog track created, we begin by activating the sidechain input. We then open up the output routing on our loop and route it to the sidechain input of Retrolog. On the Retrolog panel called Oscillator Mix, we adjust the input level knob. This must be above zero for it to receive its signal. We then deactivate the oscillators 1, 2, and 3 to avoid any sound playing from Retrolog itself. Notice that no sound is playing as we hit some of these keys. For the Retrolog effect to work, you must trigger the MIDI input on Retrolog. You do this by either creating an event and playing a note, or physically playing the note on the keyboard while the track is playing. We're going to create an event by double clicking on our MIDI track. We then pencil in any note that's going to trigger our effect coming from Retrolog. Notice that if we solo Retrolog, there is no sound coming from it because we have turned off all the oscillators. If we solo our loop, we still don't hear anything because the sound is routed through Retrolog. Now let's unmute Retrolog. I have found that if the signal seems weak in Retrolog, you can boost it by creating a send to the sidechain input. You can adjust the level of signal in the left panel window or in the sidechain inspector window of Retrolog. Now we're all set up. Our first effect that we apply is the arpeggiator. We go to the ARP tab, turn it on, and let's hear it. Here we can create our own arpeggiated pattern, or we can select one of the many presets. Let's try this first dance art preset. We can leave our ARP effect on while we add other effects. We click on the effects tab and we can see that we can select from resonator, EQ, phaser, modulation, delay, and reverb. 
We can also change the order of the effects by simply dragging them around. Let's hear what some of these effects can do to your loop. We can also apply Retrolog's effects to other VSTs or MIDI tracks. Here we have a MIDI track with an instance of Helion Sonic. We're using the same chord pattern from the loop that we used earlier. Here we have Acoustic Grand Piano as the default loaded. Let's hear what that sounds like on this MIDI pattern. Just like before, we must route the output track of Halion to the sidechain input of Retrolog. One way to do this is to click on the Edit Channel button of that mixer track and apply direct routing to the output of the sidechain. You can also create a send to boost the signal into Retrolog like we did before. You can also adjust the level of signal on that send as well. We're all set up now. Let's hear some of these effects applied to the Haley on MIDI track. That's all I have for today. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment to see other videos like this. Thank you.